Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see a one more concept in algorithms that is backtracking. So this is also one problem solving technique which is used to solve the problems based upon the brute force approach. So it's a problem solving technique. which follows the brute force brute force approach so what is meant by this brute force approach so brute force approach means checking all the possibilities to get the solution so brute force checking all possibilities Checking all possibilities. For example, so imagine you are having one lock and you are having some five keys. So you don't know the exact key which opens the lock. So what we will do usually, so we will try with each and every key. So at some point of time, so the, the lock will be opened with only one key among those five keys. That, that approach, that means without having any knowledge, just applying all possibilities is called the brute force and here the backtracking will work with the help of a brute force with some sort of additional technology will be used for this brute force to calculate I mean to solve the problem using the backtracking. So here the name itself indicates the backtracking means if the current position is not if the current solution is not viable or is not proper then immediately we can undo that means we can backtrack to the previous point and we can go with the alternate path okay so if the current solution that means whatever the solution we have solved right if the solution is not suitable suitable then backtrack backtrack and choose choose alternate path alternate path okay you, you can choose an alternate path so mainly this algorithm is suitable whenever there is no time limit to find the solution for a problem so this works well when there is no time limit there is no time limit to find solution to a problem right there is no time limit then only this particular backtracking will be possible and here we'll be getting all feasible solutions here we'll be finding we'll find all feasible solution feasible solutions so we have studied about these feasible solutions right so one problem can have a lot of solutions but based upon the constraints we are supposed to select the optimal solution so all possible solutions we call them as a feasible solutions so here we are supposed to find these feasible solutions and the solution for a problem will be obtained step by step step by step and incremental way incrementally using recursive calls this is also most important so here the solutions will be obtained by using recursive calls recursive calls so step by step solution will be taken 
as well as in the incremental fashion so using the recursive calls right so the three possible categories where we are going to use this backtracking right so three categories three categories where we use backtracking so the first one decision problems decision problems and these are the problems so which will be work with the help of a decisions right so all feasible solutions a feasible solution can be considered as a decision problem okay so this is a feasible solution a feasible solution and the second one optimal optimization problems optimization optimization problem so we have studied about these optimization problems that means we can have a lot of feasible solutions but based upon the constraints given we have to select the optimal that means the best solution so that is an optimization problem so best or better solution best or better solution better solution so the first one is a feasible solution and that that may not be an optimal and coming to the second one it is a best or a better solution optimal solution and the third one is enumeration enumeration problems this is nothing but all feasible solutions all possible solutions all possible solutions so if you want to find all possible solutions for a particular problem then also we are going to use this enumeration problems that, that such type of problems we call it as a enumeration problems and if you want to solve a problem and get the optimal solution that is called as an optimization problems and if you want to solve a problem to get a normal solution that may be optimal or may not be optimal that is called as a decision problems so this backtracking problem solving technique will be used to solve these kind of problems decision problems optimization problems and enumeration problems enumeration problems and in order to find this feasibility okay feasible solutions here we are going to find out the state space tree state space tree this is most important so what is a state space tree so this is a tree with all possibilities so we need to construct the tree tree means nothing but a path okay a path with all possibilities either it may be a solutions or a non solution right so path with all possibilities all possibilities a solution which gives a solution or non solution so everything will be constructed in this state space tree so with the help of this one we are going to find out the solutions so initially the backtracking will start with an empty set okay initially initially the backtracking will start with an empty set and after finding one solution that solution will be added here so this is nothing but the solution plus solution 1 so if it is feasible then it will be inserted into this set so it will be getting it as a s1 and afterwards again the second solution so if second solution is added here so if it is feasible second a solution is feasible then s2 will be added into this particular set otherwise it will it will be just discarded right so these are nothing but a possibilities possible solutions s1 s2 s3 and so on sn let it be all are different solutions for a single problem so initial set is empty set so if s1 is a feasible solution so based upon our constraints right 
S1 will be inserted into S set. And if coming to the second solution, if it is not feasible, okay, if it is not feasible, it doesn't meet our constraints, then S2 can't be inserted here. So we can simply avoid this S2. Then S3, the, the next solution. If this solution is a feasible, which, which obeys all the constraints given by the user, then S3 will also be added to the initial set. That means this set, right? So in such a way, only the feasible solutions will be added into this initial set and non the, the solutions which are not viable or not suitable, they will be discarded. Okay, now let us see the algorithm, a simple algorithm, how the backtracking will be applied. Okay, simple algorithm. Algorithm. So, step one, only the three steps will be there. Step one, if the current position the current position is the desired output if it is a desired output then success okay step 2 and if it fails if it fails so else and again if current position is not further explored or generated then it is failed that means if the path is not extended okay if the path is stopped that means a dead end then obviously we can say it as a failed and step 3 yes that means this condition is also failed if the current position is not a dead end dead end then backtrack backtrack with alternate path with alternate path explore and repeat steps 1 2 3 so again we have to repeat the same process so one is if the current path or current position is the solution that means a desired output then we can stop it is success and if the current position is not further explored right so we have we are talking about the state space head right so initial state for example it is a b c okay now if it is a dead end if it is a dead end so we can say it is failed if it is not dead end and it is again c it is further explored then we can backtrack and we can choose another path okay so this is a way and we can backtrack and we can go with the other path and if it is here then it is a dead end it is not being explored further right but here there is an alternate way if not c we can move with the e so that in such cases we need to backtrack and explore with the another alternate path so this is a simple algorithm so that means if if we reach to the dead end okay and if there is no further exploration automatically we can stop if there is an exploration we can just backtrack and move with the alternate path now what are the applications of this backtracking so we'll see the applications what are the different applications Applications of backtracking. 
So, by using this backtracking, we can solve the N Queen's problem. N Queen's problem. So, in our further sessions, we are supposed to solve this one, right? So, sum of subsets problem. Sum of subsets problem. Hamiltonian cycles or Hamiltonian paths. Finding Hamiltonian paths in a graph. Graph coloring problem. So, etc. All these are the different applications where we are going to use this backtracking. Okay. So, hope you understood the general method of this backtracking introduction. So, what is exactly the backtracking? So, it is similar to our dynamic programming. Right. It is similar to our dynamic programming. In the dynamic programming also, we are supposed to find the optimization problems right solve the optimization problems and here also we are trying to find the optimization problems but if our current path is not suitable then again we can backtrack and we can choose the alternate path so that is a only one thing which is different from this backtracking and the dynamic programming right so let's stop here hope you understood this introduction about this backtracking so in our further sessions we will go with the applications and queens and sum of subset problem right so let's stop here so if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much